The chief minister and the leader of the opposition stood shoulder to shoulder, metaphorically, if not physically. Two messages were delivered. Politicians are working together, and Gibraltar is ready to start dipping its toes into easing restrictions. However, this is uncharted territory, and the government may have to pull back, although it hopes it won't have to. Whatever happens, there appears to be light at the end of the tunnel. The cabinet will review all aspects of the lockdown every Monday. The chief minister said Gibraltar was ready. There is more than enough personal protective equipment and the GHA will continue sourcing more. An exercise will be carried out at the Nightingale Hospital and further ventilators are due to arrive. Gibraltar is therefore ready to start a gradual release of the lockdown. At the moment, there are 12 active COVID-19 cases on the rock, with 120 recovered. The Director of Public Health has advised that four conditions should first be met. The first condition is that the number of COVID-19 cases should be rising at less than six per day. That condition is currently met. The second condition is that the number of COVID-19 admissions to hospital should be less than three per day. And that condition is also currently met. The third condition is whether there are less than two cases of COVID-19 on ventilators in the intensive care unit. That condition, again, is currently met. And the fourth condition is whether there are more than 25% of cases in the over 70s. That condition is thankfully also currently met. With those four conditions met, we're ready to implement, first of all, the opportunity for the over 70s to go out to exercise. That will be the first relief measure. But the over 70s will not be released from lockdown in coming weeks. It is very likely that if you're over 70, lockdown will in fact continue for many more weeks. And I want to be upfront about that with you now. The second relief measure that we will be able to implement as a result of meeting the four conditions set out by the Director of Public Health will be to allow more businesses to reopen, but with strict conditions. We will make a more detailed statement on that in coming days. We expect the permission for some businesses to, re to start to reopen will be effective from the 1st of May. This will enable us to align the reopening of some businesses with the relevant dates for claims under the beat COVID measures for businesses. Fabian Picardo said they'd been moments away from a government of national unity and did not discard this happening in the future. He said Parliament hoped to restart in May, June, and expressed the hope the politics would be just as robust, but now less personal. This was echoed by the opposition leader, who said the elected opposition had stark differences with the government, but always stood ready to work together on matters of public interest. He asked the opposition to consider suspending the normal rules of politics and that Parliament should meet to pass emergency COVID measures only. I convened a meeting of the Shadow Cabinet for the next day, Saturday morning, where we unanimously agreed to support the government in this crisis and take steps to assist in the effort. Keith Sapardi said that in parallel with any lifting of restrictions, there would be a need to jumpstart the economy in a safe and enduring way. He said this may break the traditional plea for fiscal prudence that the GSD has stood for, but that these are extraordinary times. We're aware that some of the economic measures are not assisting everyone, and we must find a way to bring a wider pool of people suffering economic consequences into the net. In parallel with any lifting of restrictions, we need to jumpstart the economy in a safe and enduring way. That may break the traditional plea for fiscal prudence that we have stood for, but these are extraordinary times. The chief minister said the timetable may not allow a resumption of Brexit talks on Gibraltar's future relationship with the EU. Keita Sapardi added this was not a time for posturing, with both men indicated they were not in favour of the deadline imposed by Boris Johnson for an exit by the end of the year, come what may. The UK has till June to take a decision.